Okay, look, economy's tough, the inflation's through the roof, which means that the interest rates you get from the bank should be high. Now, I still prefer to invest my money inside index ETFs because historically speaking, over the long run, you come out ahead than just putting your money inside savings. But there are times when putting money inside your savings account is a good idea. Like you got a big purchase coming up like a car and you don't want to risk your money inside the market. Or an emergency fund for example. Basically situations where you need to make sure that your money is safe. And there's a lot of options for savings accounts out there in Canada. You have banks like Tangerine or simply offering 6% interest rates. It's promotional so it doesn't last forever. And another choice is the bank that I I use EQ Bank currently offering 3%. I know it's probably in the mid tier or slightly lower than average right now in terms of you know interest rates, but EQ Bank does offer the flexibility that I need in my bank. Free ATM withdrawals, nice app, but see I like to put about 6 months of living expenses into my emergency fund, which is like $20,000. So an increase of 1% interest rates to me is like $200, and honestly $200 that's quite a lot. That's like over a day's worth of work for a lot of people. And I can get that by just increasing my interest rates from the bank by 1%. And that's a no brainer. And Wealth Simple just so happens to heavily push their new product. The Wealth Simple Cash is offering 4% interest rates and it's not promotional, meaning there's no end date in which the interest rates stop. Which makes Wealth Simple Cash one of the highest non promotional interest rates out there. And this is great for people like me who don't like to keep chasing promotional interest rates. Cause it's it's annoying. Moving your money between banks a couple times throughout the year, chasing promotional rates? I mean, I just don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But here's the thing, let's be honest. If the Bank of Canada decides to drop their interest rates, then I'm pretty sure Wealth Simple is gonna drop theirs as well. So no, 4%? probably isn't permanent. But you know what? Even brokers like Wealth Simple is going into the retail banking space. Diversifying their portfolio makes sense, I guess. With the economy slowing down, I mean we're in a silent recession, the government's just not admitting it. Any way to grab more business is a smart move. Okay, you know what? Let's just get to the pros and cons of Wealth Simple Cash. Before we start, please remember to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel. I make financial tips for Canadians and my law firm content and financial comedy in my shorts. So if you're a beginner, Beginner at personal finance or just want to get a good laugh on financial comedy, yeah, subscribe. So let's go with the pros first for World Simple Cash. First of all, at least 4% interest rates. Mighty fine. You know, one of the highest out there, not accounting for promotional rates. And see, the more you have with World Simple between all your accounts, the higher rates are, up to 5%. That's fine right there, that's really fine. And your money is also protected by the CDIC for up to $300,000. That's a good sign. If I'm not mistaken, most other banks protect you up to $100,000. And if you didn't know, CDIC is the main Canadian deposit corporation you want to have for your deposits. Simply put, if banks ain't offering that, they're not getting my business. So yeah, th that's a good sign. Let's see some of the other features for this account. Send and receive $5,000 a day through e-transfer up to $10,000 a week. And I think most other banks offer $3,000 a day and $10,000 a week for e-transfers. So I guess Wealth Simple Cash does give you more flexibility. Faster access to your funds and get paid up to a full day early if you sign up for direct deposits with your employer. Well, I, I can't confirm that. But if one of my viewers does have a direct deposit with Wealth Simple Cash with your employer, let me know if that's the case. No foreign exchange fees. Now this is interesting. Now I personally shop a lot in a foreign currency and I currently use the Brim MasterCard where there's 1% cash back and there's no foreign exchange fees. But you know what? The Well Simple Cash card could be better because the 1% cash back is automatically deposited back into your account. You can immediately earn that 4% interest rates or invest that money into ETFs or invest in crypto. I used to drive a $15,000 car to work every day. This was until I invested in crypto. Now I hire a driver and travel in a $400,000 vehicle to work every day. Invest in crypto, they say, enjoying the rich lifestyle. Your choice, but don't, don't, don't invest in crypto. Not now at least. Okay, so apparently you can use the Wealth Simple card to withdraw cash from the ATM, but it's not free. But you know what? The EQ Bank card is free. I actually did a video in the past where the EQ Bank card actually refunds you the ATM fee. Usually like two and a half or three dollars if you withdraw money from the ATM. So on the surface, this does seem like a big downside for Wealth Simple Cash. But okay, let's be honest here. How many times a month are you gonna go to the ATM? For me, I don't really use cash. Maybe once every two months I go to the ATM. 
Ethereum. And like I said, that 1% difference between World Simple Cash and EQ Bank could mean the difference of $200 a year. That's like 70 ATM transactions a year. Do people really use the ATM 60 or 70 times a year? I'm pretty sure most people don't. So yeah, even though it costs you money to use the ATM, you're probably still ahead by using World Simple Cash. Okay, on paper, World Simple Cash seems like an absolute win, but I, I don't have an account yet. Alright, so let's register an account first, um, using my phone. For a banking account to be considered good, I want a good user experience. Like, no confusion, you know? You don't say! And Wealth Simple Trade is pretty good. Let's take a look at Wealth Simple Cash. All right, let's deposit some money. Five thousand dollars. So just to summarize, I deposited five thousand dollars. It allows me to use a thousand dollars immediately. All right, let's take a look at my cash. You see, a thousand dollars right there. Seems simple enough. Uh, four thousand dollars pending for a total of five thousand dollars. That's that's cool. It's it's a pretty simple user face. I I like it. So now that I have confirmed a thousand dollars inside my account, can I transfer? it to my I don't think I can I have a thousand dollars but I can't transfer it over to my other accounts uh, my investment accounts so that's a little strange so I'm playing around with it and although it says that I have a thousand dollars confirmed inside my account I can't use it to invest in any stocks any managed funds nothing all right uh it's five days later I'm checking in because it says that's going to deposit my five thousand dollars in five days and uh nothing um I did get interest rates however um but there's still an extra four thousand dollars that's still pending so I'm a little bit confused here it's been five days if i go to transfer and the thousand dollars it's still locked i mean wait what's going on so essentially five days later my five thousand dollars is still nowhere to be seen in my account and that's kind of disappointing i mean they did say faster access to your funds this isn't a direct deposit for my employer but i mean still come on and why would they say a thousand dollars of my five thousand dollars is deposited when it's clearly not like they claim it's instantly deposited but i can't move it i can't move it to invest i mean yeah it says here that i'm earning interest rates yeah you know that's cool and all see i'm not gonna say that eq bank is better than well simple cash at this point because the 1% differential in interest rates is still pretty significant. But I think the problem is that Wealth Simple Cash is a very new product from an online broker. They're not a bank. So like I can't expect it to act like a bank. So I guess as long as I lower the expectations of service levels, it's acceptable. Uh, but you know what? I actually did receive something in my mail. Uh, the Wealth Simple Cash card. So I'm going to unbox it with you guys. I, I didn't actually see this yet. Um, so this is a first for me too. Alright, let's see. Um... First impression, I like this, you know, if you see my EQ Bank unboxing video, um, very similar packaging. Alright, let's open this up. Ooh, meet your wallet's new favorite card. I like it, you know, this is very aesthetically pleasing. Alright, let's take a look at this card. I mean, it's just a regular card, but uh, it looks nice and you can tap with this card. I'm really looking forward to using this card for foreign purchases. Oh, and you know what, for debit purchases as well. I actually tried this with my EQ Bank card, even though technically EQ Bank card can only be used in a credit transaction. I tried it on some Asian restaurants that only take debit cards and it went through. There is a chance that some locations that only take debit cards will take this card as well. So I'm going to provide an update in a future video as well as what happened to my $5,000 that I deposited. So as of this moment, I mean, I do I recommend Wealth Simple Cash? Sure. It's got high interest rates. The card's pretty promising. No foreign exchange fees. But just note that the primary service for Wealth Simple is not to provide retail banking. They're a stockbroker and a technology company. So as long as you reduce the expectations for service, you'll be fine. And plus, it's a new product. I'm sure it's gonna get better. All right, that's it for today. If you learned something from my video, you know, like this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing. Thank you all and I'll see you next time.